Some people inherit success. Some achieve it because of connections. Still others because of natural genius. But Kent Taylor, creator and founder of Texas Roadhouse, is a prime example of the power of persistence. A homegrown entrepreneur, Taylor's competitive nature emerged early during his days as a high school track star. But it was soon apparent that it wouldn't be sports that would shape his future, but a very different business. I didn't have many job offers out of college, so uh, I kind of went into the restaurant business by default and liked it. And then uh, <clears throat> I would be at uh, different restaurants that I worked at, and I'd go out and talk to the tables, and uh, they would usually uh, not be very happy about some of the food items. And so I wanted to uh, one day have my own restaurant and be proud of the food we serve. After working for a wide array of restaurants, Kent teamed with John Y. Brown Jr. in 1991 to launch the original Bucket Grill and Bar concept. But even after turning that idea into a success, Kent still had his sights set on creating something that would represent his vision and his alone. And that was the origin of Texas Roadhouse. My initial goal actually was to have one restaurant so I could afford to buy a house. Uh, and then once I uh, got a few restaurants going, uh, my goal was to have 10 stores in 10 years. Oh, that didn't really work very good out of the gate because three of our first five stores failed. Uh, and my original investors decided maybe uh, they weren't going to give me any more money, so I had to go find new investors to get store number six going. For a person with Kent's persistence, finding those new investors was just a matter of time. And once he did, the early missteps were soon forgotten as necessary changes were made and the real momentum began to build. I actually, it would go back to Buckhead Grill. Uh, I had Buckhead Grill, we opened it, it wasn't doing very well. Uh, and I asked John Y. Brown to give me $20,000 to pay bills, because uh, we were far behind in our bills. I took $10,000 and I uh, paid bills, and I took the other $10,000 and I bought TVs and kind of created Buckhead Pub versus Buckhead Restaurant, uh, going back to my old nightclub experience. And then Buckhead was successful at that point because of that. Uh, so when Texas Roadhouse had three of the first five fail, I kind of went back to my thoughts at Buckhead and said, okay, you made it work at Buckhead uh, when it looked like things were not going very well, so uh, let's give it another shot. So I went and read a lot of books on real estate. I uh, went and improved the food, improved training, uh, kind of tweaked the building look, and uh, opened Store 6, and it worked out very well in Lexington. The concept was great from the start. I mean, the, the concept that was in his original business plan, he's followed through to, to this day. The big difference was he learned a lot from those three stores that failed. Uh, he studied the failures, understood what the demographics were and what were the reasons why those stores didn't make it. And that was the critical success. He went on a huge winning streak, 100 straight stores that were successful after that. The best way to achieve success in any business is to create a culture of success. And nowhere in the restaurant industry is that more apparent than in Texas Roadhouse's famous commitment to legendary service. Legendary service starts with the people you hire, uh, how you motivate them, and then we keep them at three table stations so they have time to interact with a guest. Other restaurants, that in order to uh, control labor, uh, will give their servers four, five, and even six tables, and so they don't have time to uh, interact with a guest and make lifelong uh, friends. The culture is really what's driven the success of the company. He early on realized that you had to have people to make the restaurant successful. Food, atmosphere, everything else wouldn't matter if you didn't have the right employees who were motivated every day. And the key to that was actually the store manager. So he focused on that early on to get great store managers, take care of them, and make sure they stayed with the concept. And that's just uh, driven the success from day one. Barna and Kent's probably the most talented restaurant tour I've ever met. Um, and I think that comes with several attributes and characteristics. One is he's got great vision. Um, two, he's extremely creative. Uh, three, he's competitive. Four, he's got an incredible work ethic. And five, he knows how to build a culture of fun. I mean, people at Texas Roadhouse, they have a lot of fun. It's a fun gig. Working at a Texas Roadhouse may be a fun gig for the company's thousands of employees, but Kent Taylor and everyone associated with the business have always remained keenly aware that the real key to success for any restaurant chain is reliable and consistent customer satisfaction. Advertising by word of mouth was so important to us. I can just remember the early days, if everyone has a good experience, they walk out the door, they tell someone else that's the most important bit of advertising we can do. Employees providing a fun, high quality experience for customers while they enjoy a fun, high quality experience themselves. At Texas Roadhouse, that's the formula that's helped the company expand its operation to 46 states. And success like that is impossible to ignore, even by the competition. I've learned a ton from Ken. 
and um, you know if I got a big decision I'll run it by him for sure and uh, you know sometimes he does that with me. What's unique about he and I is that <clears throat> we'll take a situation and a problem and we'll look at it and he'll solve the problem completely different. He'll go about it completely different than I do but we always seem to end up the same place. So what's next for Kent Taylor? Given the explosive innovation and success he's experienced since establishing Texas Roadhouse 18 years ago, it wouldn't be unreasonable to think he might be looking for a rest or even retirement. But the smart money says there's still a lot more of his story yet to be written. I've had opportunities in the past to sell the company. I've had opportunities to retire, I guess. But I still like to be in control of uh, the food we serve, the way the building looks, and I personally pick every site that we do. Uh, as I, Yesterday I was in three states picking uh, four different sites as an example. Uh, so I like to look in the mirror if the site's not good and say, what the heck's wrong with you? Why didn't you pick a better site? So I like to uh, plant our flag in uh, new locations around the country. It's a flag that's been planted in more than 350 locations from coast to coast so far. And if Kent Taylor has his way, it'll be flying over many more Texas roadhouses to come.